what you want to focus on first and foremost when you create a vision, when you want to skyrocket your business, is you have to get very, very clear on what you want. You have to get very, very clear on where you want to go. And most people have not really taken the time to consider what is the most important thing for them um, and, and really painting the perfect picture. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Diamond Life TV, episode number 31. I'm super pumped and excited to be here. I want to wish you a happy new year, happy 2021. And today I want to talk about a powerful topic that's talking about the sky, how to skyrocket your business and create everlasting motivation year round in 2021. And what I've done over my career in network marketing, some key distinctions that have made a big difference for me. And I'm going on my ninth year in network marketing, and I've been full time uh, earning 100% of my income, a very nice seven figure income for the last four years in this industry. So I want to share with you some things that I've done that are, you know, a little bit different than what you're probably going to hear in other places. And um, if you're pumped and excited about that, I want you to comment below. Just let me know you're excited. Uh, really give me your um, energy. You know, I haven't been doing these calls that often in the last few months since my daughter Valentina was born. Uh, she just turned two months yesterday. She's the most amazing little baby, uh, truly in bliss. And, you know, I had a coaching call actually this morning. I'll quickly touch on this before I get into today's topic, but I had a coaching call this morning with my business energy coach. And he was telling me like the, the real distinction for me and for anybody who's truly living the diamond life is that they're living in the now, they're living in the present versus always being um, putting their life on display on social media and stories and videos and content nonstop you know, in real time, because that essentially takes you away from being present. And you're almost doing it for the sake of showcasing it. And that's not what the diamond life is about. So I was talking to him about this, this whole thing. And I was telling him like, when I'm like staring in my daughter's eyes, and she's so cute and so adorable. And that moment is just magic. The last thing that I care about, the last thing that I want to do is like pause and, and uh, do an Insta story of her. You know what I mean? It just doesn't feel right. So we talked about this and he was saying that a way around this is to be able to actually share lessons and extract the gold from those uh, moments later uh, versus in real time. And that felt really good for me. And so a lot of what has been happening recently has been a big transition because I love doing these calls I love mentoring and coaching you and others uh, to create their own diamond life. And it really fulfills me, right? But it, it became a bit of a conflict because I'm like, I actually prefer to be doing this other stuff and just being and existing and uh, being true to the lifestyle and diamond life I've created for myself over the last number of years. So with that being said, when you look back in your career, right, and you see the blind spots, you see where you went in the wrong direction, or you wasted time, or you focused on things that didn't really matter. That's where I've been starting to focus and look now as I approach a decade in this space. And so I, I just did a call yesterday in my other group um, for my high ticket direct sales um, business. And we talked about that really what you want to focus on first and foremost, when you create a vision when you want to skyrocket your business is you have to get very, very clear on what you want. You have to get very, very clear on where you want to go. And most people have not really taken the time to consider what is the most important thing for them um, and, and really painting the perfect picture. And what I mean by this is when you look at your life right now, if you were to describe your life today and you describe all of your life, not leaving certain pieces out, but you describe all of your life, right? Turn over all the stones and focus on every different area of your life. 
what would be the most detailed, nuanced, uh, essentially written down version of your life as it is today right now. And because you're living it now, it's a little bit easier to do this than for you to imagine a completely different life five years from now or 10 years from now. So one of the exercises that I encourage you to do that you can start with right now is write down just a really, really clear description of all the different areas of your life as of right now. All right. And it's not about sugarcoating stuff. It's not about making things sound worse or better than they are just as transparently, honestly, as neutral as you can be about it, write that down in as much detail and literally think of every single thing that consists of your life today. And then what you want to do is use that as a comparison to go and read it again and replace the key pieces that you want to change. And now you have a template because you use your current reality, your current situation um, as, as the place that you start, you know what I mean? And then you're essentially just filling in the gaps with where you want to go. And this is something that we walk you through inside of the diamond life accelerator in the first module, which is getting clear on where you are and then figuring out the gap between where you want to go. And it's a really powerful exercise because when you get clear on where you want to go and you also are clear on exactly where you are, and then you have the gap between the two, You now can make a game plan where the motivation doesn't run out because you have a destination you're heading to. It's kind of like if you've ever gone on a road trip and you're driving your car, did you ever lose motivation to get to where you planned on going halfway? Like if you were driving from Vancouver, Canada down to, I don't know, Los Angeles or something like that on the West Coast, and you were planning on going to Disneyland And all of a sudden you're driving, you're driving and you come across construction or there's um, some, you know, something unexpected, an accident on the highway or something. Did you ever lose motivation and go, you know what, I'm just going to just leave the car here. You know, I'm just going to park the car here and hang out here and I don't really want to go to Disneyland anymore. Right. Or was it more like, oh, shit, you know, an accident or like a crazy storm or something unexpected happens. It's like, what's the detour? What's the alternative route? Uh, Do I need to stay the night at a hotel? You know, maybe I'm going to get there a little bit later than I originally anticipated, but you don't actually lose any motivation whatsoever to the destination that you got clear on, which was Disneyland. And that's what so many people do in this space is they don't get clear on where they want to go. And so therefore, any obstacle, any challenge, anything that comes up your way, uh, which there's going to be so many things that you can't possibly even... uh, you know, prepare for all of that. You have to take the path and walk the path. And then all of a sudden something presents itself and you deal with it. You handle it, right? You solve that problem. And ultimately, if you have a clear picture and vision of where you want to go, you're like, cool. It just naturally makes sense to figure out what's in front of you, the obstacle, the challenge, learn how to overcome it, and then continue on the journey. And, uh, and and for me, like I said, I'm, I'm going into my ninth year this year in 2021, my eighth year with my current company and not ever planning on leaving. It's the best company that I've ever seen, you know, all, all around in every area. And, uh, I remember thinking to myself when I first got started, like what my life would be like 10 years after being with this company, you know, what was possible, what, what I imagined it to look like. And I was actually able to achieve it much, much quicker than 10 years, but the vision and the path that I was willing to take was not determined by the year that I was in. It wasn't determined by 2020, 2021, 2022. It just was dependent on the distance that I needed to travel. And that's a really key distinction that I want you to understand is that the goals that we have, the motivation that we draw in our lives to do the things that are necessary isn't dependent on time, such as a year, such as a month, such as a week, such as an hour, any, any way that you would track time. It is dependent on distance traveled, which is a completely different metric, which means that if you need to travel 10,000 miles to get to your dream diamond life, you are going to travel 10,000 miles and you are going to get there. And if that, you know, uh, requires multiple years, for example, because you're walking or hitchhiking or doing something like that, then so be it. Right. But you're essentially just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And that is a key distinction. If you understand the difference between, you know, 
putting so much emphasis on a calendar year versus the distance that is necessary for you to travel. And there are metrics, of course, that we can track, which we teach you in the accelerator in more detail around things like how to know where you're at, how to track your progress, how to manage your time, your finances, and really take inventory of everything. Because if you don't have a baseline, if you don't have a starting point on the map, on the GPS, you don't actually know where you are to begin with. And therefore, how are you ever going to make it to where you want to go? It's like driving around in a circle because the GPS wasn't able to say, this is where I'm starting from. So that's the first thing that I want you guys to realize is that you've probably heard this before, but in magic and network marketing is a vehicle, right? So a vehicle's purpose is to transport you to a desired destination. That's the whole idea. And so therefore, when we're looking at it as distance traveled versus time or how fast you're going on the speedometer or something else, you're literally just, this is the amount of distance I got to go. And the reason why this distance is going to vary is because it depends on where you come from. It depends on who you are. It depends on how many years you've done personal development, personal growth, the inner work that really is the true work because the business is easy. Uh, network marketing is easy in comparison to overcoming the things that are, you know, your obstacles within. That's the much, much more harder part of the journey. But that's one big piece. And then the next big piece is how big are your dreams? You know, a lot of people, they don't require massive, massive amounts of money or wealth. Uh, they don't need crazy big homes and multiple supercars and yachts and, you know, whatever. And, and like multiple uh, homes that they want to invest in around the home. Not everybody wants that. And that's perfectly fine. So, so let's say, for example, somebody wants to have um, a goal that's like $10 million net worth, as an example. Well, the distance traveled from where you are to where you want to go is going to be much shorter than someone who wants to have $100 million net worth. Does that make sense? So not only does it depend on where you're coming from, and getting clear on all of those pieces in the inner work, then knowing where you are right now and getting like breaking that down, honestly, transparently and truthfully. And then you need to know, okay, what exactly is my destination? Like what is the equivalent for me to feel like I won the game? You won the game of life. And this doesn't just consist of money. Of course, money is just one way to measure, um, the game essentially It's measuring the progress and measuring the amount of value you've contributed to society. That is how you measure the money piece. It could be family. It could be um, <clears throat> fitness related. It could be travel related. It could be around your passions. It could be around philanthropy, charity, so many different ways, but it just needs to be measurable, needs to be quantifiable. And then you're going to travel that distance, right? So that is absolutely huge. Now, the next piece that I want to talk about, so that's the first piece. <clears throat> the next piece I want to talk about regarding how to skyrocket your business is, is this one is really, really big. And it's around focusing on the process versus the result. So how you actually get more sales is by focusing on the part that you can control, which is the process. So in network marketing, in any type of sales, you're responsible for the lead flow, right? You're responsible for the amount of people you contact, the amount of leads on your ads. That's what you're responsible for. And you need to be consistent with that. So then what ends up happening is you determine what's called a closing ratio, all right? So you know that this many people basically took a look at your opportunity and this many people said yes. And you now have a number that's like 10, like every, for example, one person out of every 10 buys. Once you have this number, obviously you have a metric now that you can track and then you wanna reverse engineer that. So if you wanna hit a certain rank in your company, or you want to earn a certain amount of commission in your company, you need to just reverse engineer what those numbers actually look like and then run the game every single um, day for the year. And you're going to get different averages. There's going to be all kinds of different variables. But the overall point is that what a lot of people do is they only focus on the result. That's it. So they're like, I need to make X amount. I need to make sales, whatever. And they're actually not factoring in that people say no, that um, things come up, financing doesn't go through, you know, like there's a lot of things that happen that don't result in a sale, but it still gives you data to know, all right, I just got to talk to 10 people, 
to get one sale versus assuming every person that you actually speak to equals a sale because then that creates disappointment, it creates rejection, makes you feel like they're not enough or why aren't they buying from you and all this other kind of thing. So at the end of the day, the result is always going to, to, um, to be after the process that you focus on, right? So if you wanna skyrocket your sales in 2021, you need to get super efficient at running the process, running the play, and just dialing that in, dialing that in, dialing that in. So for some of you, you're primarily building online, which is awesome. There are certain things that you need to do online that generate leads, such as writing ads or filming video ads or different you know, organic lead gen launch strategies, or there's all kinds of different ways to generate leads, but you need to be doing that often right? You can't do that once a month or once every 90 days or once a year or whatever for you to expect to get the result that you're after because it's not going to happen without the process. So this is something we get more detailed into as well in the accelerator of like how to approach the business in a very methodical way where you're not emotionally attached to who says yes and who says no. There's no attachment to that. It's just a matter of sifting and sorting. You want to collect people's decisions, essentially. That's it. So, so the more people you can ask, the more people that can make an educated decision for themselves, yes, no, yes, no. You don't care which way it falls. Yes, no, yes, no. The worst is the maybe, think about it, got to wait for my tax refund, got to talk to my dog's grandma, you know, all this kind of bullshit. That's the worst. That's what I personally can't stand. It's like you're a grown ass man or a grown ass woman. Make a decision. It's a yes. You're going to take the next step. It's a no. And that's it. I don't want to hear, you know, the excuses or one day or I'm saving up. I'm doing that. That's none of my business. That's your business. You do what you need to do. And when you're ready to make an official decision, you let me know. <clears throat> so that leads me to the next point here. And the next point is you have to have proper positioning. You have to have the, the demeanor of somebody who's successful, the demeanor of a leader. People don't want to partner with somebody who's desperate or who hasn't made a sale or who's all talk or all theory or nobody wants to partner with anybody like that. So you have to really get clear on why would someone work with you? What is your positioning, right? And you have to position yourself as the right person that someone wants to work with because this industry is booming. Uh, network marketing, online marketing, affiliate marketing, all of it is booming. And it literally comes down to a matter of who does somebody want to work with? Who does somebody want to partner with? Who does somebody want to learn from? And if <clears throat> you're somebody who isn't showing up in a way that someone wants to work with, it's just not going to help. The next piece too, when it comes to motivation is the reason why most people are losing motivation quickly, and this is like something that doesn't get talked about enough, is two parts in my opinion. The first thing is identity, who you see yourself as in terms of your own identity. And the identity that you hold yourself to is actually the loser version of yourself, but you're trying to project a winning version of yourself. So essentially what that means is that you're constantly you know, speaking down to yourself, uh, you have negative self-talk, you, um, you're, you're almost kind of like in a fight, in a conflict with yourself constantly. And if you're in that place, that doesn't create success, that doesn't create positivity because you don't even see yourself as someone that another person would want to work with, right? So your identity needs, needs work. And the second thing is, this is the reason why New Year's resolutions fuck people up a lot, is that they get like into the space around the end of the year where they um, forget that change is difficult, right? Change takes time and change isn't parabolic. It's not just exponential boom takes off. There's corrections just like the stock market, just like crypto, just like everything else. There has to be a correction. So, so you can get momentum, then something happens and, and you go down, right? And then you pick yourself back up and you go up again. So there's going to be the ups and downs. But when people make their plans New Year's goals, New Year's, New Year's resolutions, they never factor any of that in. They never factor in that, hey, one day you might just not fucking feel like it. And you want to sleep in. Uh, one day you might be sick. One day, uh, you know, whatever. So there's never an element of the realness towards people's goals when they set them. And so they have these un un insane expectations of, 
you know, perfect consistency every single day. There's no leeway for failure. Uh, you know, they're overestimating what they can do in one year versus like playing the long game over the course of a decade. And all of this stuff sets people up to fail because as soon as life starts happening, you know, third week of January, before the end of the first month of the new year, you've beaten up your self image, right? You've literally punched yourself in the face because you set these insane uh, new standards that are not sustainable. And now you're like, well, I'm a piece of shit because I slept in today. And, you know, you start saying these really messed up things to yourself. And then that translates into everything else that you do. And then do you think that's going to lead to sales? Do you think that's going to lead to people contacting you and wanting to work with you? You basically look like a hot mess, right? You're like, your life is, is a gong show. And in network marketing, in online marketing, what you're really marketing is your lifestyle, is how are you living? How are you coping? How are you managing? How are you able to optimize things in your life where you can have a calm, cool, collected energy about yourself, but still be productive, still be making progress in all these different areas of your life. And you don't look like somebody who's like more stressed out than I am when I'm potentially looking at you as a leader, as a partner, right? So a lot of the times there's this whole thing like be authentic, be real, be whatever. And I, and I agree with that. I think you should be. And sometimes people are so real and so open and so whatever is that they give too much of a glimpse into the fact that your shit is fucking a gong show. And then it makes me think, oh, so if I put one and one together, if I partner with you, then that means that I'm also going to have a gong show life. So now nah, this isn't for me. See what I'm saying? So it's like <clears throat> an underlying thing that is connected to people. So one of the things that has helped me um, in, a, in an insane way, and I'm still doing that right now to this day with my Diamond Life program, it's just a little bit different uh, than just simply only focusing on network marketing or only focusing on sales and marketing. And what I do is I'm an inspiring example of what's possible. So I live it. I embody it. I do it first myself and then I teach it. And so when you think about wherever you are in your business, you might be new, you might be a beginner, uh, you might be already at a certain leadership level, whatever the, the level is, just remember that you can't possibly be bringing in people that are at a higher level than you currently have ever achieved. It's kind of like an all time high, right? The all time high has set the precedent. So your best, uh, you know, monthly income, annual income, what type of traveling or lifestyle do you have? Where do you live? What kind of home office do you have? All these examples of like, where are you at in the level of standards and the level of success in the eyes of others? And, and that's what you need to raise the bar. So what I've done is I continue to raise the bar on me. I continue to level up myself. And then I know that shortly after there's a law of delayed returns that will actually get me better quality leads, get me better quality business partners because my all time high, the bar has been raised, which means that the quality of people that are attracted to me who also want to level up and get to the, the last all time high that I've been able to get to, it all goes up like this, right? It goes up together. But what a lot of people do is they stay in the same spot. So they stay in the same spot for years and years and years. Nothing is really changing, right? They're in the same spot, making the same money, um, same size business, same size team. They just became, become a participant. They're not really, uh, there's no growth, right? And, and if you ever had an investment, right? And the, the investment was just like this. It was like flatlined. Well, what does flatline represent? What does flatline represent in you and in me? Well, if we're flat, we're dead, right? Beep, fucking game over. So that's the whole point is, is you've heard this before, right? If you're not growing, you're dying. The flat line is death. And if you're not growing, you're not going to attract new people. And therefore you get disappointed because you see everyone around you growing. Everyone is rising. Not, I shouldn't say everybody. Most people aren't, but you see some people growing and rising and leveling up. And you maybe got started around the same time as them. And you're going, whoa, that person's now here and that person's now here. And the comparison game starts to happen. And then all of a sudden you feel entitled to this person's success simply because you have something in common with them, like starting around the same time or, you know, hitting a certain rank or income at the same time. And then one person just went boom 
And you're now just expecting to get those same results that are up there, but you haven't done the growth. You haven't done the work. You haven't actually earned that next level in your business. This is absolutely key. It is massive. And in 2021, if you focus on the process, right, you focus on the long game and you focus on the things we talked about in this call, these are just little snippets of what we put into the Diamond Life Accelerator program, which is for people who are basically anybody in network marketing, direct sales, who's earning under $10,000 per month consistently. That's what we put into the accelerator because there is these simple principles that are timeless, and when you're, when you're focusing on the timeless principles, they always work, right? That's the whole idea, not the gimmicks, not the, the flavor of the month or the thing, the gimmicky, whatever. So that's what we're putting into the accelerator, right? So once you're in the accelerator, you're going to understand, go like, wow, I'm just getting like this different perspective on some things that I never considered to be important. And once you get all that stuff dialed in, then you're able to start leveling up following a process, just doing the work daily. It's like every day is 2021. Think about it like that. It's like you wake up in the morning and at the end of the day, 2021 is over. The year is done every day. And you have that opportunity 365 times. It's a different outlook. So I got to wake up in the morning and I got to fucking do my best today because when I go to bed tonight, this year is over. And then you're going to adjust the next day, right? You're going to go, okay, what did I do awesome today? I'm really proud of myself for this. You know, I fucking crushed that. And then you're going to be like, cool. You, you know, you give yourself that the, the, the way I like to say it is I'm my own biggest fan, right? I'm my own number one fan. No one is going to have more of an influence on me than me. So when I look in the mirror, I talk to me, you know what I mean? Um, I tell myself I'm proud of myself. I tell myself that I can do it. I tell myself that I believe in me all the time. Right. And some people might think that's weird, but it's like, if I'm not going to be my own biggest fan, who is? So I always do that. But then I also have the, the coach that gives me feedback, right? And I'm honest with myself. And I go, Blage, what could you have done better today? How could you have been a better husband, a better dad, a better business partner, a better friend, you know, a better entrepreneur, a better investor? What can you improve on for tomorrow? And this simple philosophy just adds up and stacks and stacks and compounds over time. It is absolutely amazing. So we teach all of this in detail. The accelerator is um, still available. Definitely. Uh, we're we're <coughs> just going to create so many success stories inside of um, the Diamond Life Mentorship Program in 2021. I'm absolutely pumped and stoked for this year. Um, it's already off to such a beautiful start. I'm grateful for you guys being here live. I hope you got a bunch of value today and some nuggets dropped in. Take care for now. And um, I'll see you guys on the next call. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>